Hello, today we are going to talk about the server on ESP32. We will set up a server which will send an HTML page, a very simple static and HTML page. Uh, in order to read this page, we will use a standard browser, uh, Fire, Fire, Firefox in our case. And this is the reason for this, because of security issues. And um, okay, in order to approach it, we as always start with expressive documentation. We are based ba basing our code on the HTTP, HTTP server chapter here, and uh, we are using the get request this one. All those things are uh, written here in this example and I encourage you to read this example. I found it uh, pretty useful. Uh, what we are doing, we are getting to our repository. It's free Artos HTTP server. And here you have different files. In the previous video, we explained the get, post, get, get and post file. And in this video, we are going to talk about a server get static HTML page. Basically, this file and the server get file are very, very similar. The only difference here is inside simple get request, we are returning the uh, URI response string, where this string was changed in in our new file static HTML page get static HTML page we returning the HTML code so we are ta taking this uh, C file and paste it to our editor it's now here with appropriate HTML file and I want to talk a little bit how we uh, got there and how we came up with this line here inside the project and also inside the uh, uh, sorry here inside the project we have the HTML file he I want to emphasize that is not connected here to the project in any case it's just a play to store a file in order to see what this HTML file is doing, we will open our directory and uh, we'll run this file with uh, Firefox. You, as you can see, we are got it, getting the standard HTML file, which is saved on uh, my PC, and he's printing some message on the screen. What we are doing, we are taking the, this HTML code and put it inside a text to string converter. You have a lot such of converters on the net. We are using one of them. We paste here our HTML code, con press convert, and got the same code in the string format. The difference is that you have slight, slight changes, for example, for different symbols here. And here, in order to enable the, the compiler to read the string, we are taking this string and paste it here inside the code. And this is our response message. Okay. Now, uh, uh, let's see. Uh, let's run it. Okay. Uh, meanwhile, uh, we are using this the only GET request here, as was explained in the previous video, uh, with the same handler and uh, the same uh, server initiation. Okay, now let's see. The Wi-Fi is connected, we got the IP. This is our IP. So what we can do, we can copy this IP, open the Firefox new page, 
and paste it here and you see we got the same page uh, as here okay but this one is from the server very important to notice that I am using a Firefox a browser without the security features so you see it's enabled me to approach the standard HTTP uh, link and not HTTPS secure if I will do it in, in my uh, definitions with Chrome, Chrome browser it won't work because he is reading only the secure sites so if you want to check your code Please note that you are using the right browser. Okay, uh, let's go back here. We got our page and now our ESP32 is functioning as a server with the following, this one with the following AP. Thank you.